ABC 7 News is committed to building a better Bay Area, and that commitment includes a focus on our environment. The state wants more people to drive zero emission vehicles, but are the incentives and the infrastructure there to make it happen? ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena takes a look at the issue. Luz? That's right. AB 1046's goal is to have a total of 1.5 million clean vehicles out on the road by the year 2025. We're now at a hydrogen station, one of the few in the Bay Area that are up and running. We'll tell you why. Tadashi Ohitsu is one of the early fuel cell drivers in the Bay Area. Today, he left his zero emission vehicle at home. Thinking about uh, like uh, taking a road trip to, let's say, Mendocino, and then the, I have to use uh, Mill Valley Station, which is down. Then I, ha I, I cannot do it. On June 1st, an explosion at the main hydrogen facility in Santa Clara affected him and thousands of drivers who, for a month and eight days, have been saving their hydrogen. There was a uh, disruption of the supply in hydrogen, and, and I think uh, there, there are roughly there are 11 stations in the greater Bay Area, and uh, there are actually six that are still in operation, and they. Um, and in part, that's uh, a technology-based uh, difference. Assemblymember Phil Tang knows the setbacks, but is pushing for more zero-emission vehicles. His plan to increase the amount of rebates for electric cars to as much as $7,500 from 2500 So it's an important time to revisit how big our rebate should be. California's main leader, Governor Gavin Newsom, united with 23 other governors and called for a strong national clean car standard, opposing President Donald Trump's rollback of federal vehicle emission standards. Right now, the Trump administration is moving backwards. They want to roll back fuel standards. They want to uh, not have clean car standards. They don't want to allow California to have its own clean car standards. And I think this would be a disaster. In California, there are approximately 7,000 fuel cell vehicle owners. An estimated 3,000 are here in the Bay Area. In San Ramon, Luz Pena, ABC 7 News. All right, Luz, um, before you go, would this legislation require continuous funding for the rebate program? Yes, it will. The idea is to continue with then Governor Brown's idea of having a total of 5 million clean cars out on the roads by the year 2030. Back to you guys. All right, that is a big goal. We'll see what happens, Luz. Thank you.